Elephants, pangolins are some of the most poached animals and often sought after for the ivory and scales respectively. Other animals such as lions are often poisoned by locals who feel that they are a threat to their livestock. According to Uganda Wildlife Authority, in the 2020 alone, over 1,600 cases related to destruction of wildlife and legal sale of their products were registered in court. So last year alone, we arrested around 1,608 uh, people involved in, in various wildlife crimes. Of these, around 790 were presented to court. And we had, uh, I must say, a prosecution rate of around 55%. Hanji says that majority of the people involved in such crimes are the very rich and wealthy. And therefore, a danger of wildlife crime. Wildlife crime is not only about poaching, it's not only about trafficking, but also illegal entry. Uh, there are people who say that for them they are hunting to just to get some meat to eat. Others will tell you it is a tradition. Others will tell you they want medicine. They are hunting animals for medicinal purposes. So there are so many reasons why they are doing this. But largely, yes, there, is some, there, is, uh, there are crimes around our parks. In a bid to end these heinous cyber crimes, African Wildlife Foundation is carrying out massive training exercises with the Uganda Wildlife Authority and the police force to combat them. The director of forensics in the Uganda police, Andrew Mobiru, says with the training, officers will get equipped with the knowledge on how to approach or handle the cases. Angolin is one of the very many species that has been poached in the wildlife. Coupled with the elephants and the, the tusks, you have seen them, rhino tusks and elephant tusks. Now, there's a lot of forensic evidence that you can, you can pick up if you do things correctly. 2019 to 2020, we handled 784 cases with 1,322 suspects. 294 cases with 421 suspects were concluded. That training comes after time when the Uganda Wildlife Authority is still grappling with online legal wildlife trade. According to the police, the criminals have now turned to using advanced and sophisticated technology, which makes them hard to trace. So the, the skill sets you are going to be given, plus the tools you are going to be shared with, are key tools to make sure that everything that we do can be done in a forensically verifiable manner, so that we can all stand together in court and put these bad guys away from action. We didn't have investigation units, investigation unit, we didn't have intelligence, we didn't have on-ground prosecution, we didn't have a utility court. I think that is a result of all those efforts. And the trainings that we are, we are getting, we are getting more and more trainings. People are picking more and more interest in what? In wildlife crime in conservation. Officials from the Uganda Wildlife Authority also received state-of-the-art computers and other gadgets which they will use to monitor and track the culprits. Story by Chris Semalimu Semakuila for ZTV, PM Edition.